last week, especially the last few days, I have been feeling super unproductive, unmotivated, and like such in a rut. I just have no motivation to do anything. I've been keeping up with going to the gym and like working out and stuff, but just like everything else, cleaning or meal prepping or just anything, I just don't feel like doing it. So today I'm having a good reset day because August is just around the corner, which is absolutely crazy. I can't believe it's in a few days. Today I am gonna go for a walk to try to start and ignite my reset day and feeling good. So I'm gonna go for a walk. I haven't walked for a few days. So just being able to be outside, I think will be so good for me. Then my plan is to come home and do some meal prep chicken for my week. And I have been neglecting cleaning my bathroom. So I really need to clean my bathroom and put away my towels. I have towels that have been cleaned just like sitting in a basket outside my bathroom for the last week or so. And I just haven't put them away. They have to be folded and put it in the cupboard, but I just, I just did not do it. So today we're gonna do it. So today I'm gonna get myself ready and back into the routine and back in the mind space and just get myself ready for August. So let's go for a walk. The winds are so high right now, I guess. I don't know how would you explain that, but it feels so nice. Like the huge breeze is awesome. I just finished my walk and after every walk, I like to like find a tree, sit down in the shade and just like sit on the grass. It is so calming and it's just like such a good way for me to just like be present with myself and like just give myself like half an hour or 20 minutes. But the wind is so strong. I just try and find like little things that bring me joy or like bring me like peace and calming things throughout the day and like things that I truly like to do. So yeah, this is definitely one of them. Okay, so now that the chicken is in, it is cooking. It's gonna take around, I think like 30 to 40 minutes. I basically cook up by look. So once it looks pretty good, I take the lid off to kind of like brown it a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna go upstairs and clean my bathroom, put my towels away and shower.
feel so good and refreshed. I've showered, washed my hair. So I'm gonna check on my chicken and then I am going to make some dinner. So for dinner tonight, I am going to make shrimp stir fry. dinner here is my stir fry it looks so good smells so good honestly like my go-to meal always is stir fry because I feel like every stir fry can be a little bit different it depends on the protein you put in it and also depends on the spices but also the vegetables you put in it because if you put different vegetables in it it's always a different stir fry whenever I'm like in a rut or like I just feel like making nothing so it's really hard and then I just eat whatever and then it's just like yeah it's a vicious cycle so after I eat, I want to go over my goals for July and also my goals for August. I want to set some new goals and I guess just look at August as a whole. Okay, I changed my shirt because I was kind of cold so I put on a little sweater. I just got a warning on my phone that there's potential tornado warning in my area. But I looked, there's no... Hasn't started to rain or anything, so I think I'm just gonna hang out here and then if it starts to rain or anything, then I'll head downstairs. But anyways, I'm I'm safe. <laughs> what I wanna do is I wanna go over my goals and like look at my goals that I set in the beginning of July for the rest of the year. So I want those are like my major goals that I wanna accomplish, I would say. So I wanna check on those to see how I'm doing and also check back on my July goals. I set a few July goals. Um, mainly they were kind of like coincide with the goals that I set for the year, but just like broken down small. Um, and I also want to set some goals for August. I was trying to find something like whether I create kind of like um, an Excel spreadsheet or a Google Sheets kind of thing but Alexis Eldridge I found her on YouTube and she had a template for her notion so I am borrowing and using her template and trying to make up my own but notion is a little bit confusing it's brand new to me so I'm trying to figure it out while editing um, her template so yeah but it's kind of cool it's really really cool not kind of cool notion is really cool um, but I think it's going to take me a while to figure it out. The one thing that I don't know, and if you use Notion, is there an undo button? Because half the time I do stuff and I'm like, shoot, I like it better the way it was before. <laughs> and then, like, I cannot figure out if there's an undo button. So please, if you use Notion, is there an undo button? And if there is, please tell me where it is in the comments. Let's look back to my goals for the year. So my goals for the rest of the year... They were get outside my comfort zone, get a medical physical done, make a friend, attend three meetup events, pay off my credit card, pay off my student loan, have 15,000 in my savings, complete 75 day hard challenge, reach 100 pounds lost, and then post every Monday, and then two short form videos a week, 
reach a thousand subscribers, complete Vlogmas, and get monetized on YouTube. So let's see here. I would say I got outside my comfort zone, definitely. So let's change this to in progress. So this year, or I guess this year, that's hilarious. Okay, so this month, so July, I attended two yoga classes with my gym because they were offering free yoga classes. And I've never really done yoga before, so doing that was a little bit outside my comfort zone. Um, I really enjoyed it, but it's just because I'm new to it, I'm just like always nervous to do things like with other people that I don't necessarily know. So I would say, yeah, that would be one I completed, get outside my comfort zone. My dog, if you hear him scratching the floor, he is so anxious and obviously there is some kind of weather happening outside because he is so afraid of thunderstorms but it doesn't say thunder on i checked on the um weather app it doesn't say thunderstorms but he's not having a good time okay no you don't want to go outside no 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 pay off my credit card i've started it <laughs> it's under a thousand right now which is amazing and hopefully i can keep it there so i'm gonna say that's in progress i'm also gonna say in progress post every monday because i've done that baby it's okay and um but i have not yet posted two shorts but it's in progress it's in progress okay so now let's go to my july goals okay so for july my goals were get outside my comfort zone one time which i did do so that's awesome so i completed that one um get a haircut i did not do that clear out my closet of clothes I'm not wearing. Um, so that's in progress. I've started to do that. I really want all the clothes in my closet to be things I wear and things I love. So I'm trying to purge and declutter and organize my closet, but that's really difficult for me, but it's in progress. So connect with family and friends. I would say I completed that. I got to see some of my family and some of my friends this month. This month was my birthday, so I got to see my cousin and a few cousins. There's one cousin I see at the gym almost a few times a week. So yeah, I would say I definitely did that. Take clothes to Plato's closet. No. Post once a week every Monday. Yes, completed. Hit 100 subscribers. Woo! I did that. <laughs> okay. And create a weekly schedule. I did not do that. So those were my goals for July. So let's make some goals for August. For August, I'm going to put down again, get outside my comfort zone because I want to do that six times between July and December. So that's one time a month. And then I want to add, get a haircut on there. Um, and then get rid of two items. It's okay. It's okay. So I want to purge and get rid of two items per day, either for donations, selling, or throwing away. And the reason for that is, well, one, I'm trying to declutter, but also my boyfriend is going to be coming with me, moving in basically at the end of the year. So I need to declutter so his stuff can have somewhere to go. Start the 75 hard challenge. Take clothes to Plato's closet. Call my doctors to book a physical appointment hit 250 subscribers and post four TikToks and Instagram reels. So four I'm assuming is going to be doable. It's once a week, basically, if I break it down, because eventually my goal is to be doing two per week. So four for right now is a good start. So thank you for hanging out with me. And I feel so much better. I feel refreshed, honestly. And I'm so happy that I got for a walk. I did some meal prepping and I had a really healthy dinner and I got to do some goal setting and intention setting for August. I was going to say the rest of July <laughs> for the next few days. No, I'm just kidding. Um, for August. So yeah, I saw today that um, Jenna Kutcher, I think her name is Jenna Kutcher. I follow her on Instagram. She had this like um, journal that she's selling and I was like mm, maybe I should get the journal because her journal was like something like um, it's like just like she said like five minutes a day but I have a journal so I, that's one thing I need to add to my goals is to, I want to start journaling again because journaling is one way like that really helps my mental health and definitely really helps with my routines and it just like 
I honestly love to journal before I go to bed. Like I like to read and journal before I go to bed because it kind of like winds me down and then like I just wrote everything I'm stressed about. I wrote everything that I'm thinking about. So then I sleep so good. So I really need to add um, writing in my journal on my goals for August. So I hope you have a good day and I hope you do a refresh, restart if you need it and have an amazing August. The storm has officially come and now it's actually thundering and raining. So Oof. I don't know if you can hear it. It's so loud. We've had a few thunderstorms in the last few days, but not as loud as this. So I'm afraid the power is going to go out. It's okay. It's okay. I got you. I got you. I love to just like find a tree to sit down on and then just like, no, I don't sit on the tree. <laughs>